loud, fast, fun. Those are three generic adjectives one could use to describe sprint boat racing, but the things these drivers and boats can do is much more complicated. The boat displaces about 700 gallons a second when the throttle's on the floor. Uh, our boat accelerates from zero to 103 seconds. It will turn seven to eight Gs in a corner. Get that? Me neither. But the entertainment outweighs the science for most fans. If you ever want an adrenaline rush, you gotta see these guys because it's up close and personal. All right, well, might as well pull up to the drive through window and grab a beer. It's not just what sprint racers can do, it's who's doing it. There's a machinist here, uh, there's concrete pump truck drivers, there's electrical contractors. Uh, we have an F-18 pilot here. Eric Werner is a pilot in the Navy Reserves. He also flies for Alaska Airlines. How does sprint boat racing factor in? So there's a saying between the airline the Navy and your spouse, there's no way to keep all three of them happy, meaning you don't have enough time literally to, to give each one of them. So racing and my spouse, and now I got four, uh, you know, variables in there. Each driver also has a navigator. Dan Morrison is flanked by his stepdaughter, Kara McGuire, who's also an elementary school teacher. I don't think that being a teacher has given me any sort of advantage other than I'm maybe as a little bit bossy, so I'll be a little bossier. If Dan doesn't listen to my hands, I'll send him in the trailer to study. There are the technical and mechanical differences between sprint boat racing and other motorsports, but I asked people if they can compare the experience between this and the country's most popular motorsport, NASCAR. The answer is pretty common. These guys can turn right. Reporting from the Field of Dreams in Tangent, Oregon, Stephen Nelson, KEZI 9 Sports.